interest is uh, the study of light at the nanoscale. So we like to take uh, the smallest object that can interact with light, which is a molecule, for example, and uh, we place it in a, a material that are nanostructure. So we exploit nanotechnology for light, and in this way we control the way light is emitted, absorbed, uh, the colors, and so on. So our goal is really to control how we can uh, uh, emit light, and um, so here I'm presenting how we can uh, use uh, metallic structures to do that, which is the field of plasmonics. But also we like to uh, work with uh, materials that are very complex, but, but very simple to make, like uh, disordered materials, like biological media, or uh, materials that are uh, like glass of milk, and in which light diffuses, and uh, we control the diffusion by uh, cleverly structuring the material. So one of the things that we are working on now, which is still uh, not, not out yet, actually, it's a very hot topic for us, um, we are trying to make lasers with these materials, but we make a laser without using any mirrors, without using any electronics, without using any large items. We just make small materials in which light is trapped, and uh, by trapping the light in this material, we can uh, induce lasing emission, similar to normal laser, but we do it on very small sizes by splotting nanotechnology. And uh, our main interest is to use biomaterials, so for example, we use natural silk, which is a, a optical uh, uh, material, so it can be transparent, can be structured, and we make a laser out of silk, which is a laser that is biocompatible. So a laser you could eat, you could inject in your bloodstream, very tiny little particle that emit laser light, and we hope that one day this would be the base for a new sensors, which will tell you that if you have a certain sickness or if you have a certain product in a liquid, by looking at the lasing emission and not just uh, the fluorescence. So this is the general broad field of nanophotonics, and uh, we are specializing in the complex nanophotonics. So we like to, to study very complex material and try to understand uh, global properties by looking at the general properties of the material and not about the fine details. So we try to abstract from the material. And, uh, so we are doing experiments, and uh, in our experiments we, uh, we do microscopy. So we, we borrow the microscope from the biological world, which are very simple and very well done. And we like to strip them off all the extra bits, and then we, we boost them. So our boost microscopy can, uh, can reach the level of looking at single molecules. We detect single photons, and we can do that with a very high control of uh, how the light is emitted, which direction, which color, and in uh, which way. So we, we do what we call single molecule spectroscopy, and uh, lasing spectroscopy, in this case, uh, we excite many molecules at the same time. And uh, by using this hybrid technology, we can uh, exploit uh, all the advantages done for the biological world, but we use them for purely or mainly physical uh, uh, reasons. So it's a, a, a microscopic approach to extract light to very, very small items and, uh, and single molecules.